and welcome to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. And in this video, we're going to be asking you one simple question. That simple question is this, which tree fern is the hardiest tree fern in the world? Now, in the entire world, there are many, many species of tree ferns, but we're going to concentrate our research on the three species that are commonly under cultivation. The first of which is uh, Cyathea cuprae. The second is the uh, Dixonia antarctica. And our third is the Dixonia sclerosa, which is a really, really lovely form. Now, before I start, I just want to clarify what I mean by hardy when it comes to plants. Now, if we refer to the Royal Horticultural Society website, then uh, hardy means a plant that can tolerate temperatures between minus 5 and minus 10. Now, half hardy would be between 0 and 5, and cold or winter hardy would be between minus 10 and minus 15. So for the purposes of this video, we're going to say a hardy plant is a plant that can tolerate temperatures between minus five degrees centigrade and minus 10 degrees centigrade. So let's start with Dixonia sclerosa. Hang on now, before we start, you probably noticed there's some weird chirpy noises going on in the background. So I just thought I'd show you these lovely little uh, guinea fowl that just turned up uh, in the field uh, behind us. So, uh, wonderful things. So the Dixonia sclerosa is an absolutely gorgeous species, very elegant, quite a slim trunk, but still can grow up to between four and eight meters tall. So if you're growing it in your garden, uh, it will tolerate uh, semi-shade to full shade. It requires uh, free draining soil. It requires an acidic soil. And um, it's proven itself through the, uh, the RHS by receiving its award of garden merit. But how hardy is it? Well, indeed, it is a good question. And the answer to it is this. It will go down to approximately minus three degrees centigrade. So that would be uh, considered uh, half hardy. You can put protection on it, but really, it can only be grown in the UK in the mildest regions of the UK. And even then, uh, you may wish to grow it as a container plant so it can be brought in under protection because let's be honest with you, minus three, really doesn't cut the mustard. Anyway, what about Cyathea cuprae, or should I say Spheroteris cuprae, which is what it's called today. Spheroteris cuprae, formerly known as the far easier to pronounce Cyathea cuprae, is a, do you know what? I saw these in Madeira and they were absolutely stunning, really, really handsome plants native to Australia, you can expect a Spheroteris cuprae to grow anywhere between 2.4 and uh, 4 meters tall. It too has an award of garden merit from the RHS and if you're growing it, plant it in an acidic or a free draining soil and you can grow. Generally you keep that in a um, semi-shaded position but how hardy is it? Well. Some say it will go down to a minus five degrees centigrade and uh, I think I would take that with a pinch of salt because they are very prone to frost damage. So unless you've got it in a particularly sheltered area or have put in a certain amount of winter protection, I think minus five is going to be a bit on the strong side. But you know, if it's true and there are people who have documented this to be so, in fact, minus six, some people say, then um, that would indeed make it a hardy plant, but really, I don't know if I'm gonna accept that. It does sound a little bit risky to me. For our third contender, we have the Dixonia Antarctica, a native to Australia, and the island country of Tasmania. Once again, it likes an acidic, free draining soil, but unlike the other two, it will grow quite happily in full sun as well as uh, full shade as long as it gets enough water throughout the growing period or during periods of drought over the summer but uh, 
How hardy is it? Commonly known as the soft tree fan or the man tree fan, um, and rightly so because this plant will go down to about minus three and minus four with absolutely no winter protection. But you put some winter protection on that, and I, you know, even a light uh, amount of uh, winter protection, then you can expect that to go down to about minus five, minus six. And if you do a proper job, as in uh, put round a, a wire cage backfill it with a load of straw then you can probably look at about minus eight degrees centigrade which is absolutely phenomenal for a tree fern so to answer the question the hardiest tree fern in the world is the dicksonia antarctica and it is an absolutely magnificent plant thoroughly recommend it uh why wouldn't you especially in the uk but if you live in the milder parts of the planet than uh, those other two, especially that Sparrow Terrace Cooper, and that is an absolutely wonderful specimen. So there you have it. The hardiest tree fern in the world, at least according to me, is the Dicksonia Antarctica. And uh, around here in the UK, it is the, uh, the most easiest one to get hold of. Anyway, if you've got any other suggestions to which would be the hardiest tree fern in the world, then you're very welcome to leave that in the comment section. We would love to hear from you. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. channels I am prepared to stand up and stand alone against the horticultural ignorance of poor gardening advice and I do it not for me but for you and uh, I don't want anything for it and uh, and even if I did you know I, I wouldn't accept it because I am a humble man humble enough to uh, admit when he's been humble but really it's all about you it's about you and uh, gardening and getting the best out of the plants that you grow. If it wasn't for you and your dedication to the art of gardening, I wouldn't have a place in the world and I would just be a sad, lonely man in his garden pottering around. But with you by my side, I feel that I can dedicate my life to helping others and truly become the best gardener that I can be. So, thank you.